Welcome to lesson number 8, working with shortcuts. Next in our video list are shortcuts. Shortcuts are pointers to certain files and can be placed on the desktop or other locations. First, let's classify the shortcuts. The first type of shortcut is advertised. When running an advertised shortcut, Windows installer first checks that all the components of the respective feature are installed before running the file. In this case, the target of the shortcut must be present in the package. The second type of shortcuts are non-advertised. When running a non-advertised shortcut, Windows installer does not check if all the components of the respective feature are installed before running the file. A non-advertised shortcut, on the other hand, can launch any file whether it is installed by the current package, already exists on the system, or is on another machine. The general convention is that if the target is present in the package, the shortcut must be advertised. Now, let's look at how we can use Advanced Installer to create both type of shortcuts. Let's go to the Files and Folders page in our project and create our shortcuts directly under the Start Menu folder. Click the Start Menu folder, then right-click and pick New Shortcut Tool Installed File from the menu that appears. I'm going to select our sample.exe and click OK. Now, because the sample.exe is already in our project, I'm going to check the Advertise Shortcut checkbox. Everything else will be left as default and click OK. That's how simple it is to get your first advertised shortcut. Of course, I can create a shortcut for a file that isn't in our MSI. For example, let's say a certain file called myapplication.exe is present in C program files. We are going to follow almost the same steps as before, but this time we will select external file. I'm going to type the internal MSI definition of program files in the shortcut destination box, followed by myapplication.exe. Everything else will be left as it is and I will click OK. This shortcut will now point to the external exe file when we install the application. Everything we completed in the Advanced Installer Graphical User Interface is reflected in the MSI's shortcut table. If we have a look there, we can see that both shortcuts are generated correctly. In the following video, we'll go over fonts and how to add them to your MSI installation. Remember, you have all the information covered in this video and more in the MSI packaging book. Check the links in the description.